hi there and welcome back to another episode at station road now of course in the last episode if you recall we looked at the interior of this platform 2 building and of course part of that interior was assembling some bench seats of course these were scratch built or scratch designed and laser cut So in today's episode we're taking a closer look at the scratch built bench seats which of course are designed up on the computer and of course laser cut. So what I've done since the first set that I did and I'll call these the bench seats mark one version is I've done several further versions because as of course you build and assemble something that maybe you've initially designed up you kind of realize that this there's actually improvements that can be had, that tweaks can be made, things can be adjusted to actually improve the assembly or the way the structure actually sits or how components actually fit together. So with that in mind, it's a case of taking a closer look at the final version of these bench seats and of course actually looking at the improvements that I made and how the assembly process is undertaken. So without further ado, let's just jump into what I got up to. So of course the seats that are installed in here in the Platform 2 building of course are the Mark 1 seats. So they've worked out really well, I'm very happy with them, but of course as I assembled them I sort of thought mm, I could actually improve on this and improve the way that at least the assembly takes place so that's a little bit more simple. So we've also got this here and of course that is two of these seats back to back and of course I was thinking of putting it in here in the middle of the main waiting room but I think it's just too crowded there's just too much you, you wouldn't really probably need as many seats as that so I might save these for the waiting room in of course the main station building so there's not much change obviously there's only just some minor changes to the design of these bench seats and what I ended up doing is I, I went on to Mark II version, then I went on to Mark III, and this is actually now Mark IV. So this is the Mark IV bench seat, and it's very similar. The only change that I've actually made is essentially what I've done is put a notch in the rear of the seat as well, and put in a wee kind of like a clip, I guess you could call it, like a, a 45 degree kind of a clip and the idea is that it slides in and then it locks in at the other end so once it's in there it doesn't actually fall out so that's the idea behind it and it also means that the when i position this as per mark one these kind of slid around a little bit on the on the rear so now that they've got an anchor point on the back and the front they actually line up perpendicular without any additional assistance so all I need to do is just add in a bit of glue here and anchor this into place now of course these are absolutely tiny microscopic very very hard to pick up on the camera and ex exactly see what I've done so what I will assemble this in a minute but what I've actually done is thinking how can I make this a little bit easier so you guys can see this and I thought I know let's actually do an O gauge version of the same seat so we'll just move that aside and what I've done is cut these out and these are scaled for O gauge so we've got there's two end pieces we've got two or three middle sections here so essentially it's the same thing of course obviously scaled up to O scale and I've changed the material as well because obviously the thickness changes so we're now at two millimeter MDF so these ones here of course is the the 1.25 millimeter case board we're now up to two millimeters thick so hopefully you can actually get a better sense of what the idea behind this is so I'll just bring this in and if you can see there you've got kind of like a, a 45 degree kind of clip 
on the bottom of the seat support there and the idea is that just with a little bit of flex in it and you've got to be careful because this is MDF and it's a little bit brittle is sliding it in and the front of the armrest locks into that position and then the clip locks into the back and we end up with it locked into place and of course at a perpendicular angle and all it really needs is a bit of glue on the underside and that's that now for the end ones it's a little bit different and I change the end ones so that they don't actually need to slide on that way as the middle ones need to do all they need to do is actually just position on over the end and they've got wee notches oopsie daisies and they've got wee notches for the seat bottom to anchor into place so pretty simple and this is actually going to go to a fellow modeler who I know models in O gauge uh, a member of our local model railway club so he will inherit this once I've assembled it So there we have it, we've got our double O scale bench seat and we've got our O scale bench seat. So I certainly think the Mark IV design is an improvement of course on the Mark I design and it was certainly a lot easier to assemble in terms of getting the supports, the armrests and leg supports perpendicular to the actual seat bottoms. So. With that in mind, of course, this will be the new version that's going to go into the main station building. Of course, I'm not worrying about replacing the ones that I've installed in here. They're fine. They can stay as it is. So obviously this was just a short video looking at the modifications, improvements that I've made to the scratch design laser cut bench seat. Now, if anyone is interested in obtaining the files for this, just let me know in the comments. And of course, I could possibly set up a place where you can download the files if you wanted to have a go at laser cutting these yourself, or potentially even you could, I guess, hand cut them if you were game enough. And I know that Michael from Chanwell <laughs> would definitely be in for that. So obviously in the next video, I'm going to be looking at the ceiling and the roof structure and hopefully actually squeeze in the the lighting as well so you may recall of course what is the point of putting all this detail into here if you can't actually see it so obviously I want to be able to make and design the roof so that it can actually be taken off so I've got to factor that in figure out what's the best way of doing that so I'll leave it there for today's episode. I certainly hope you've gained some inspiration and ideas for your own layouts and maybe you're now inspired to add some bench seats to your station buildings. Do take care, look after yourselves. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.
Bye for now.